What's going on everybody? My name is Han Dao Kim and in this video I'm going to talk about four reasons why commercial investment is actually better than residential investments. Let's go. All right, here we go. Reason number one, yields. You are simply going to yield better in commercial real estate than in residential real estate. If you need cash flow, and trust me, you need cash flow, it means diddly squad, you have all the property in the world, but if your cash flow poor, asset rich does not put food on the table. So make sure that you have cash flow. If you are watching this and you are a young person, Yes, you know who you are. If you need to ask if you're a young person or not, well then, you're not young. Okay, I'll just say that right now. But if you're a young person and you're watching this video, you need cash flow. That's what you need. So in residential property, you're going to be yielding between 3 to 6%. Very general numbers here, guys, but that's what you will be doing. And in commercial property, you're going to be yielding between 5 to 8% on a sort of an average there. So what does this mean, guys? It means you're going to have cash flow coming in. Not to mention residential cash flow often has to have all the other costs included in the cash flow and the rates itself, meaning that you're going to have to pay council rates, emergency services levy, any sewerage rates that, you know, that your local uh, laws might stipulate for having tenants and also you need to pay your agents out of that whereas in the commercial property world you get a net figure and any of the outgoings are paid on top so why is this cash flow really important well it allows you to hold your asset for a long period of time residential properties and commercial properties they both sit on land and the land is both appreciating you can choose to buy residential property that obviously has a little bit of that income and the land is increasing at a particular rate and a commercial property that doesn't do anything too different to that of course but you got more yield so what's your pick obviously you're going to go for the commercial properties right the commercial properties also um, have a much more foreseeable rental increase as well when you sign a lease it's a lot longer than the lease term of a residential tenant and within the lease itself every year you're going to be able to stipulate rental increases in, in that as well so it is important that with these factors in mind you are able to hold commercial property for a much longer period of time than in your residential property because your cash flow can sometimes almost double that of a residential property so that means you can hold property for a longer period of time. Why is that good? Because we know real estate through the passage of time, through the passage of the development of humanity, is that it goes up in value. If you can hold commercial property for a longer period of time because you have cash flow, well, there is your magic right there. Now, you can also use cash flow that you generate from commercial property to add more into your income so that you can get financing for your subsequent properties as well. Meaning that because you have a higher income, then your service ability will increase and your loan ability will therefore, loan capacity will therefore increase as well. Whereas the opportunity of that happening in residential property is a lot less as well. Makes me sad because people don't know this and they invest more into residential than in commercial. But hey, that is one reason why you should invest into commercial property. Reason number two, capital growth. Okay, how do you get a residential property to go up in value? Well, there's not much you can do about it. You actually have to buy residential property and pray that things happen. Yes, you can make conjectures about what's happening in the area, infrastructure and upgrades, any new shopping centers in the area, schools or whatnot, and sort of you can speculate on whether it will go up or not. And look, people have been very good at doing that in the past. And I see some residential investors that are absolutely kicking ass for that matter. But if you look at commercial property, it, yes, it is market dependent as well, but it is also lease dependent as well. You will see a lot of my videos talking about value add options and you know how you can actually get get build more growth and equity into the commercial property. You have a lot more options doing that. Well, some of you might say, well, Hamdal, you can do that for residential real estate. Well, yes, you can. You can put a new kitchen and a bathroom, but that's about it. But in commercial, you can find new tenants. You can divide up the tenancies. You can. There's a lot more flexible options to actually value add to your property and therefore build capital onto your asset. And now reason number three, and before I talk about reason number three, I want you to smash that like button, make sure you subscribe, press the little bell next to it as well. And if you please, please press that like button, that would mean the world to me. And make sure you share this video too. If you do that, I would, I would really appreciate that too. Reason number three is property management. All right, residential property management, you, on average, okay, of course there are some magic tenants out there that will stay for 10 years without bothering you ever calling you. Yes, property management of your tenants has 
is a lot more intensive for residential property but for commercial property you have you almost have little to no effort in managing these properties if there are any issues with the property or any anything that breaks you at least might stipulate the tenant actually attends to those fixes themselves so management is far less intensive on average for commercial properties means that it'll make your job as a landlord a lot easier reason number four all right so this is to do with finance guys you can actually borrow just about the same amount of money with the same similar amount of down payment for commercial properties as well you may argue you may argue well that's not true um, you need to put more down therefore you you know you need more capital in your bank before you can do your commercial property but that's not true at the moment lending happens uh, quite flexibly around things for residential property you can get away with having a 10 to 20 percent down payment but you often have to walk, uh, cough up the um, the stamp duty yourself meaning that you got to add another five percent on top of it if you do borrow more so that you have like only 10 percent deposit as well you it does come with LMI implications as well. People sit on two different fences about LMI, but my view is that LMI is literally money down the toilet. So I don't really like to seek it unless the investment was so good and you can actually capitalize on the opportunity and, and you, you must buy the property, then, then that's a different story. But that's what you're gonna get. For commercials, you can lend, you can put down about 20 to 35 deposit and that you can be, you, you're able to buy the property depending on what the commercial property is. Then you might say, well, Hando, that's a much higher percentage percentage that you have to have down in cash or well, that's not true you can still have borrow 20 percent on your commercial properties and look i'm in south australia at the moment uh, and in south australia you don't pay any stamp duty so it means that you know even if you bought residential property with a 20 percent down payment and the stamp duty here is about five percent so you got to have 25 percent of the value of the property ready to transact um with a loan and on a commercial property you can almost get away with just having 20 percent down payment and then having having no more obviously these are some rarer cases but there are opportunities where you can acquire this and from a financing point of view you can still be better off buying a commercial property so do stay very very open to commercial properties i do genuinely believe that commercial properties are better investments than residential properties. Please get started with residential property if you need if you need to and if you feel like that's a more comfortable option for you to go for. But if you do have some level of cash flow, then you need to consider a commercial property as an option, even simply to diversify your portfolio. All right, well, that's four reasons there why commercial property investment is better than residential property. I will see you in the next video. Please, in the meantime, subscribe, like, comment, share, do everything that you need to do, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.